South Africa's inflation rate dropped to 4.6% in July, marking a three-year low. This could pave the way for a potential interest rate cut by the South African Reserve Bank. Additionally, food inflation also decreased to 4.5%, with maize meal prices falling, although bread and cereal cost rose. The overall slowdown in price growth across food, transportation and housing categories contributed to the decline from 5.1% in June. Senior economist G.A. van der Linde provides insights on the latest figures. The July inflation print was a good one. Um, the headline rate eased more than arguably most economists expected. It came in at 4.6% year over year, down from 5.1%. And you know, ultimately what these numbers show is that inflation is moving in the, in the right direction, which is down towards the midpoint of the Reserve Bank's target range. But the big question is whether or not inflation will remain at these levels over the coming months. And that's something you know, the Reserve Bank will be uh, mindful of. If we look at the overall CPI print, we saw that goods inflation came down quite a bit in July, and that's um, largely thanks to lower fuel prices, but it also shows that demand remains weak. Um, we also noted that the um, administered prices continue to be a problem. Um, uh, electricity and water tariffs increased um, by quite a lot in annual terms, um, double digits in the case of electricity, and that's a big problem. It's something that the uh, Reserve Bank cannot really fix. It has to come from the, from the government. Um, but ultimately, I think you know there is good news in this inflation print. Um, the uh, case for interest rate cuts in South Africa has certainly been building. Um, inflation expectations have come down. The RAND has strengthened following, strengthened following the formation of the Government of National Unity, so there's optimism there. The inflation outlook in general is more benign than it was um, you know, a couple of months ago, and also there's a lot of optimism building about um, interest rate cuts uh, by the US Federal Reserve, which is helping the situation. So um, I think it's quite plausible that the uh, South African Reserve Bank um, will consider cutting interest rates by 25 basis points during the upcoming meeting in September and perhaps back that up with another 25 basis point cut uh, in November. I think ultimately, you know, these inflation numbers that we saw um, today should um, provide greater confidence to the SAAB.